welcome to the very first episode of... In this episode I want to talk about some games I've been playing, an exciting new game announcement, and a fun puzzle game on the original Nintendo I used to love growing up. The first game I'd like to talk about is Fallout New Vegas. I've been playing this game about a month or so, and I was having a lot of fun with it. The game begins, you survive a near-death experience, and you're set out into a post-apocalyptic world to find the person who tried to kill you. It was a lot of fun, and if you're a fan of RPGs and open world games, definitely check out the Fallout series. The main feature of these games that I really enjoy is how interactive the worlds are. You can travel anywhere you want, explore any buildings you want, cities, towns, and you can interact with all of the people that inhabit this world. I sat there with some of the characters having 15-20 minute conversations, just getting to know the characters in the game, and it's a lot of fun traveling around doing quests for them. You can choose whether you want to be good or evil. You can go around slaughtering entire villages. Or you can go around doing quests for people, trying to help them out. And it's a lot of fun just exploring. My favorite part of Fallout New Vegas isn't even part of the main storyline. It's a side quest in Vault 11, it's called. And I just, I just had so much fun going through the side quest. It was a complete blast. So if you like playing games where you're allowed to travel out of the, outside the line, it's not a linear game. If you want to explore and just become part of the world, definitely pick up the Fallout games. The next game I'd like to talk about is Gran Turismo 5. I've been playing the Gran Turismo series since the very first game. I remember I went up to the store with my dad and we rented it. Came home, played it for hours, and after we returned it, he saw how much I liked the game, so he surprised me and bought the game for me. And I've been playing the Gran Turismo series ever since. The main feature of the Gran Turismo series, and especially Gran Turismo 5, is it's not like other arcade racing games where you don't have to brake, you can slam into walls. Gran Turismo 5 calls itself a driving simulator, and it honestly feels like it is. You have to be completely accurate to how you would drive in real life, and it makes you feel like you're actually a real life race car driver. When you're going through the game, you have to pass licenses which teach you how to drive properly and for me it's a lot of fun it's really hard to explain why the game is so great but when you have the controller in your hand you can feel the difference between every single car in the game which there are over thousands and just just the controls the amount of ability that you have to tune up your cars make them faster better controls it's just a game that you can sink hours into and I've always loved it if you've never played a Gran Turismo game Definitely try out Gran Turismo 5 or even Gran Turismo 3 or 4 on the PlayStation 2. Last night I was sitting around, wanted to start a new game, and I couldn't decide which one to start, so I had two choices to choose from, and I decided to post a message on Twitter, ask which one you guys thought I should start, and the decision was pretty unanimous. The first game that I had as an option was Kirby's Epic Yarn. I got this, it's still sealed, I haven't played it yet. But the second game that was chosen overwhelmingly is Uncharted 2. And I've been meaning to play this game for a long time. It took me a long time to even play Uncharted 1. I had fun with it. And I've been hearing so many great things about Uncharted 2. But I don't know why it took me so long to play. I picked it up probably two months ago. And I just didn't put it in. I was playing Fallout and Gran Turismo. So last night I decided to put it in, give it a shot, and see what all the hype was about. I played about an hour and a half of this, and it so far it's definitely living up to the hype. I was I was thinking that there's no way this game could live up to the, the hype, it couldn't be that good, but so far this first hour and a half, it's really exciting, it's a lot of fun, and there's not a slow moment in the game so far. A lot of games you'll play and it'll get a little bit slow or you'll get stuck in a spot. The flow of this game is perfect so far haven't been bored for even a second so I'm really looking forward to playing this game I'm probably gonna play it right after this video for a couple hours and uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to finishing it up everyone kept telling me to play it and how good it was so hopefully I'll have this game done by the end of the weekend and know what everyone was talking about and that leads right into a huge game announcement that was just announced today Uncharted 3 Drake's Deception is in the works they showed a few screenshots it looks like an airplane crashed in the desert it looks awesome and there are going to be some trailers at the Spike Video Game Awards that I'm really looking forward to. And it couldn't have been time better with me just starting Uncharted 2. I can't wait to finish this and I'm already excited for the third one. The 
retro game I'd like to talk about this episode is The Adventures of Lolo 2 for the original Nintendo. I have a lot of great memories with this game, but I've only just recently gotten it back into my collection. I remember when I was young, I used to have to go to my parents' work during the days when they couldn't get a babysitter. And I remember going up there with my sister and brother and being really bored. Sometimes they would give us work to do to keep us occupied. But we eventually got the idea that we should take a Nintendo up there and hook up an old TV. So that's what we did. And we used to play Nintendo games up there. And just down the street, they had a rental place that we could go and rent Nintendo games probably just for a day or two. But when we had to go up to the office, it was really nice to be able to go up, play games, instead of having to do work for my parents, you know. So I remember bringing this game back from the rental place, putting it in, and watching the intro cutscene. I remember that being so cool back in the day, and basically you have to climb a huge tower because Lala is kidnapped. So you have to solve puzzles on your way through the tower in order to progress and then make it to the end and save her. In each puzzle you have to collect hearts that are laid out through each level. Sometimes when you collect the hearts you get some bullets that you can shoot at enemies, but most of the time the puzzles consist of pushing blocks around and avoiding enemies. The game sounds simple, but as you get to later levels, the puzzles are really challenging and take quite a bit of thought to be able to figure out. It's a lot of fun, and if you like puzzle games, definitely check this one out. Well, that's the first episode of this new series. I figured I'd try something new. I'd like to ask you to leave a comment down below. Let me know if you like this new series idea, or if you prefer my older style of videos. And also, leave a comment down below with what I should call this series instead of the Dinky Dana Show. I want to hear some great ideas, whether it be funny or something serious. Let me know what you think, and can't wait to hear from you. I'm Dinky Dana, and thanks for watching.